Let's ask the internet. So what is a swipe file? A swipe file is a collection of test and proven advertising and sales letters, keeping a swipe file as common practice used by advertising copywriters, creative directors as a reference for ideas for projects. That's quite marketing here, but this concept also works pretty well for music. And to simplify this a little bit, a swipe file is a collection of ideas you have saved from other artists. So you will in the future keep your ears open for things you like. I mean with things you like, specific things you like. So not saying, okay, this is a cool track. Ask yourself, what is cool in that track? Is it the drums? Is it the kick? Is it the bass? Is it a certain melody? Is it a drop, some transition, some riser, whatever element it is, you can save that for future referencing. The cool thing is you're not only limited to Psytrance tracks. So for example, if you are watching a movie, and especially like a lot of sci-fi and I think horror movies have pretty cool and nasty stuff in there which you can use in tracks, whenever you encounter something like this, I would save it. And now comes the question how to save that. If you haven't already, then please boop the like button that will help me to boost this video in the algorithm so to show it to more producers like you and also shows me what content you value. I will show you a quick example because that I think is the most common way for me at least. So I like to go for runs, maybe like once in a week. And then when I'm running, I usually have my phone on me to have like a fitness tracker or something on it. Or when I'm riding with the bus, I'm listening to a lot of music from other artists. And whenever I encounter something, which I think is pretty dope, then I will make a screenshot of my phone screen like this. And then when I come home, I can check that track at that marker at that time, which I did the screenshot. So for example, I did the screenshot at minute 344 of that Huja Boy and Lunatica track. And then I can take this and sample this into my DAW. There are different ways how you can sample stuff. So for example, you can use digital audio cables so that you route basically your computer audio to a virtual audio cable. For example, there is black hole for Mac or I have audio hijack or you just have an interface which allows you to record whatever plays through it through a function called a loopback and then I do record them out into a special swipe file and I will organize this like a little bit better in the future but the idea is basically that you save whatever you like and then you have all those little audio snippets I'm focusing especially on melodies lately in which I want to investigate how they have been done and if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, then please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. That's really important because then you will get a notification whenever a new video is out there and you are among the first ones who can apply this technique to your own tracks. And the next step, in my opinion, is that you align those audio snippets really good so that you have, for example, this here, starting here with the kick and bass. And then you need to set the BPM of your door so that it really starts again on the markers. And once you did this, you consolidate it, you run it usually through some kind of like AI separation tool. And then you can go deeper and get the notes out of those tracks. Usually it's not super good if you drag us over from Ableton to here. But what you can do, you can check out this video up here in which I show how you do this with a tuner or with the span analyzer. Anyways, it doesn't need always to be that good. Sometimes it just is okay to have this as a reference and to see what they actually did. So it's not about like getting the exam notes and putting them in your track because that would anyway sound cheesy like you have stolen the melody of another artist. It's more about getting the concept of this melody. So for example, which note lengths does it use? Which intervals does it use? Does it change directions a lot? Or is it like following one direction? Does the melody change over time? All those questions you can really easy answer once you extracted the MIDI out of it. And yes, it's a little bit of work you need to do. And the same goes for rhythms. So let's say you discovered some cool FM rhythms or some grid games, then you can basically reconstruct them in MIDI. You can see basically 
how I did this with a whole track um, in this video up here. It's from uh, Asterix Universal track. There you can see I just put like some MIDI placeholders in there. So depending on your needs, you need to put in a little bit more or a little bit less work and you will never reach it perfect so that you get the exact same MIDI with the exact same synthesis. That will never happen. But if you're getting close to it, then you're already able to learn. And that's what it actually is about. So the swipe file is not about stealing. The swipe file is about getting inspiration. It's about learning. We humans basically tend to create new things out of combining old things. Even if you don't agree with me, I would challenge you to think about that. But there's not really a lot of things which are completely new. So maybe you say like Psytrance didn't exist like 100 years ago, but there was music, there was scales. So you can see actually musical scale was invented by the ancient Greeks about 500 BC. So there's quite some old concepts in music and nothing is really 100% new. There's always something which was before and then somebody kind of like added a new touch to it, recombined stuff. Maybe you have already found some inspiration for your track and you have an idea, but you're not sure how to start because Psytrance can have a very long learning curve when it comes to kick and bass and drums. And that's really the foundation of your track. So whatever you put on top, if the kick and bass and drums are not good, usually the track is not good. And if you just want to skip this part and save yourself some time and hassle and really get something good going, then you can use my kick and bass and drums the same I would use and make it for my own tracks, which I release in Daku Records. If you want to get that one, you can download this in my beat store and you're also supporting this channel, which is really important for me to make this videos here on YouTube. So thanks to all the guys who already supported my channel and I hopefully you will be one of those in the future as well. There's actually a great track from Talamasca. It's called Psychedelic Trance and there he also says Psychedelic Trance has its roots in acid house and rock. So you see there's nothing completely new and this kind of like swipe file will just help you to get like a new set of tools, a new set of little bits and Lego bricks you can then reassemble in your own way with your own artistic touch with your own expression and experience you have collected over the years and it will help you really to come up with new ideas or if you get stuck to get forward uh, for example i had a track yesterday in which i wasn't satisfied because the main melodic element was missing so i was looking through the swipe file about an idea for a melody and then i found one which i thought really suited the track well and i will show you quickly so this one is the original melodic concept here and it's not as said it's not perfectly done from Ableton all that thing but you can see it has some concept of movement here in which it kind of like always goes up to a tone and goes up and then it has this melody which reacts a little bit like a counter melody in itself so it has the one part up there and one down there which kind of like gets closer to each other and then it gets back to the stepwise motion so it has quite a lot of development in the melody itself and I just took this concept concept with different notes even with like a different direction. So my melody is not moving upwards, but it's moving downwards. And I use that stepwise motion and I try to implement a little bit of that kind of like getting together thing with a completely different flair. Once that track is out, I'm sure you won't be able to recognize where the initial idea came from. So I added my own touch to this, but I think it was really helpful for me to find that missing piece in that track. So that can be a source of inspiration. And I think it's a total valid source of inspiration as long as you add your own flavor to it and not just bluntly copy stuff. Your source of inspiration doesn't need to be only Psytrance music. You can take a lot of cool inspiration. So for example, I have in my swipe file a melody from a hip hop track, which I think was pretty cool and I want to investigate a little bit how they did it. But it also can be like movies, for example. I was with my girlfriend in Ariel, uh, the mermaid, and I haven't found the melody yet because that movie isn't online yet 
again. But there was a pretty cool passage in which she was swimming towards a sunken rock and there were really mysterious paths down there. So since I started with that swipe file concept, I'm really keeping a lot more attention on musical things. I listen in movies, I listen in other music, and maybe it doesn't even need to be music just to challenge this idea. It can be probably anything which gives you some inspiration in the end. If you want to learn more about my workflow, you can click this playlist up here to watch more videos like this, which will help you to improve your workflow.